This is our last stop today, and we're actually we've arrived at Miss Velvet in Frankston. Miss Velvet is actually my playing ground. It's my boutique studio, and today I'm going to be interviewing my two IC, Gail. She's going to be sharing with us some fabulous information about what footwear to wear for the Mornington races. So let's come inside and we'll have a look and talk to Gail. We're with Gail now. Hi, Gail. How are you going today? Hi, Becky. How are you? Good, thank you. Gail's one of, or is the most valuable team member of mine, and Gail's been within the foot, foot industry now for over 30 years. Is that right? So Gail's an expert, and she's going to share with you some knowledge about what footwear to wear today. So Gail, can you just share with me what's up and coming for the Mornington races that you think women are going to be, what you think women are going to be wearing? Okay, well I suggest strongly a nice chunky heel or even a wedge, something like that. It's plain, but you can add bling to it. And to do your pop colour, well, you're looking at your beautiful reds, your black and whites are nice too, your cobalts, your purples. But come with me and let me show you something. This is what I wanted to show you. A very sensible heel with a nice pop colour, very comfortable. They will do perfect for the lawn so you're not digging up the turf. Um, another, another version is something plain, neutral like that, again with a sensible heel. Um, and again, you can do your pop colour with something and being daring, being very daring with, with the colour of what you your outfit goes. Sounds great, Gail. Uh, what if you're a bit more conservative? What can you show me if you're for the more conservative Okay, person? you'd go for your little um, peak toe. Just a little bit of colour and a sensible heel again. Um, Gail, explain to me what you mentioned before, shoe bling. What's shoe bling? Shoe bling is a little a detachable ornament for your shoe. It could be added to the front, it could be added to the back or on the side and it just completes, it makes the shoe completely different. That's fantastic. So it's a bit like, um, well it is what you said, an accessory for the shoe Correct. but also I guess you could match that up with your fascinator exactly. or clutch. or exactly. That's wonderful. And Gail, what sort of uh, shoes are you going to be wearing for the Mornington Cup? Um, I'm going to be wearing a chunky shoe. Um, and I'm very, very happy with it. I can do them all day. They're quite high, but black suede is my, my shoe for the day. OK, that sounds fantastic. Gail, before you mentioned wedges, and I can see by the shelf here there's some gorgeous wedges. Can you just explain a little bit more about them? Well, we've got all the bright colour wedges, but if you want to be a bit daring, you could do, this is if you're in the VIP section, you could do the points, which are coming back in for winter, and they've got a nice heel. So you, the girls that like to do their stilettos, that's the way to go. And we've got gorgeous one here as well with the gold tip, which is very classy. But going back to our wedges, we can. You've got nudes. You've got the bright colours. So be daring. Choose your colours wisely and have fun with it. Thank you, Gail, so much. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the shoes are all about having a bit of fun. The safe option is to go for your wedge that you can stand in all day or a block heel. Uh, otherwise, if you're in the VIP section and inside, you can go for your stilettos. So shoe it all day and have fun. Bye.